guys, it's Adria, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my iPhone case collection. I have a bunch of old phone cases from when I had my iPhone 4. Since I had my iPhone 4 for a few years, I built up quite a collection of cases, so I'm going to be showing you guys those today because a lot of you we're still interested in seeing that. Also stay tuned till the end of the video where I'm gonna be unboxing a brand new phone case. So I store all my phone cases in a drawer in my desk, but since I can't use them anymore, I just, I don't know what to do with them. I don't know if I should sell them or just hold on to them because they're cute, I don't know. The first one that really stands out to me is this Rilakkuma case. One of my sisters gave this to me. I can fit my SE into this, but it's just that the headphone thing is on top, so clearly this was meant for a four, but I loved having my phone in this. It just kind of felt like you were holding a little teddy bear and the Mm. Is this real Akuma or is this the other one? Is this co like it's like koala or something? I feel like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know you. Next we have this little zebra print phone case that one of my sisters also gave to me. When my sisters upgraded their phones, they went from like the 4 to the iPhone 6. They gave me like a bunch of their cases. They're just like, here you go. This was one of them. It's just this rubbery zebra striped one. This one was always one of my personal favorites and it's a little bunny rabbit ear case with a little tail that could attach to it. The tail never stayed in place. I never got it to stay. It kind of suction cup to the phone. I got this on Amazon a few years ago. I feel like these are my favorite materials for phone cases, like the silicone rubber. This is a little Hello Kitty case, and it has oh, my avocado that Brandon gave me for Valentine's Day. A little charm. So this is a Hello Kitty case, and it's just this Hello Kitty leopard print. As you can see, there's some bows in there too and she has a little black bow at the top just very cute this case i just randomly got at a walgreens i think one day i just saw it i was like oh cute because i kind of like the cases that showed off the apple i didn't really use this one all that much because it's plastic i don't know the harder ones i just didn't really gravitate toward it's kind of broken oh not my fave this next one i am forever sad that it will not fit on my se i'm just Rest in peace, okay? So this is my little panda from casemate.com and I just, I can't put this on my new phone. I even tried, I tried. I was like, <sighs> yeah, and it has a cute little paw keychain hanging. Ew, and it, has, it looks like it has egg yolk on it. It's like yellow, do you see that? This was the very last phone case I ever used on my 4S before I upgraded. This is like a rubbery, it was a nicer color when I first got it. It was like a mint green, see-through-ish, you know, transparent-ish. And I got this from Target. I think my Nana got it for me years ago. I always really like this case. This is making me sad. I miss these cases. And now with my new phone, I have like no new cases. So I'm just like, mm. We have yet another Panda phone case. They have these in like every single color. Okay, so this next one, I feel kind of bad because I never even used this case. One of my sisters gave this to me and it is a skillet case for their album Rise. And again, it's plastic. I don't know, I don't normally gravitate toward the plastic because I just feel like if I drop my phone, it's gonna smash. I feel like the plastic's just gonna break, you know? With the rubbery ones, I just feel like, oh, it's a cushion, it's gonna, mm, yeah. I just never used this and I feel terrible. I'm sorry, Allie. Or Libby. I don't even know who it was. I'm a terrible person. This case, I absolutely hate. Okay, I got this at five below. It was like five bucks. It's like pastel pink and then like an off white, but it has like little specks of black on it. I don't even know if you can see it. Okay, this is impossible to get around anything. Okay, like it is so thick and hard. I remember I had to strain to get this on, okay? I could never turn my phone off when I had it on just because of how it's shaped. It's, I don't know. Uh, this one my mom gave me for Christmas and I think that she got this at like a phone kiosk in the mall. Can I click this on? Okay, okay. Um, no, all right, that's wrong. Wait, no, okay, it goes this way, all right. Despite this being a hard case, this is actually one of my favorites because I like the two-piece cases where, you know, you click part on the front, part on the back. It kind of makes it feel secure. Yeah, I always like this. It's just kind of like a pink zebra print with like little gems on it. And I loved this case so much. The little gems would fall off, as you can see right there. I went to the craft store and I got like pink glitter that matched the glitter on this. I fixed it myself because I just, like, I loved this. I salvaged it. Mother, if you're watching, got your money's worth with this one, honey, because I used it. 
a lot. This one, one of my sisters got it for me for either my birthday or Christmas. I can't remember. And it's this cute little panda case. And you can definitely get this on Amazon. I know that's where she got it from. The little ears fell off. So now they look like baby seals. Okay, this one is another one that yet my sisters gave to me. You know, this was, it was a theme for like our birthday or Christmas. You know, we would just put a bunch of phone cases on our Amazon wish list and got some phone cases. Okay, this one, I didn't get a whole bunch bunch of like the heavy duty protective cases just because they normally weren't that cute but this one I found on Amazon and I was like okay this one's cute it has like little covers for like the little holes throughout the phone to protect it from stuff getting in it so I like this one a lot that's cute this one was a part of my very first iPhone case ever but the plastic park park the plastic part to this broke it was a darker pink and it is by Incipio and I got this at the phone store when I got my iPhone 4 all the years back in 2011 but I for some reason kept the rubber in case I got another Incipio case but that never ended up happening that's kind of depressing you know when you kind of have plans for something and then it never happens and you're just like oh all around me are familiar faces. This one was one of the very last phone cases. I think this may have been the last phone case I ever got for my 4S before I upgraded, but a subscriber sent this to my P.O. box when it was still open, and it's this little owl case, and it's so cute, and I feel bad that I didn't get to use it more. Thank you to whoever sent this to me. I loved it when I could use it, and I love it now still, even though I can't use it anymore. This one is a little plastic. American flag case because I kind of went through this phase of like loving American flag printed stuff. I always put this on my phone like on the 4th of July, you know, repping USA up in here. This one my sister Livy gave me for Christmas this past year and I didn't get to use this a whole bunch. It was just, uh, this is the only bumper I own and this is pretty cool though I must say because I really did like the back of the iPhone 4S. I wish that the new iPhones had a similar look to the iPhone 4s because the back I thought was really pretty and you always wanted to show it off, you know. There's this one that I didn't get to use because I only had it for like a few months before I upgraded my phone. This one I'm pretty sure my sister Allie gave to me and I really like this one. It's a pink plastic case that I'm pretty sure, actually I got this for her. That's funny, I got it for her and then she gave it back to me from Amazon and it has a bow on it with like some gems and I like this too because you could see the phone through it. I believe my mom also got me this one for Christmas or something and I really like this one. It was just a simple two-piece plastic case. I don't know. I always kind of felt like my phone was like really comfortable. Like it was in a sleeping bag when it was in one of these. I felt like it couldn't fall out. These plastic ones that are two-piece, you know, like a two-piece bathing suit felt like nothing was gonna fall out. Although when you're in a two-piece bathing suit it feels like everything is gonna fall out logic. This one is a little Hello Kitty. Someone in my family got this for me for Christmas and it was from Amazon so it's just a little white rubber Hello Kitty thing and I always loved how her bow was by the camera hole. I honestly feel sad that I can't use any of these anymore. This one was probably in my top five favorite phone cases ever. It's this little pink and rainbow-y pastel colored plastic rainbow phone case. Yeah, I'm so bad at describing stuff. It's ridiculous. But I always really loved this case with my white iPhone it just made the colors pop and it was just oh so cute and my last iPhone 4 case I think this was my number one this Hello Kitty case I got this for myself for my birthday my 20th birthday the little ear was the button to turn your phone off and on the little back part slid off to get your phone in there can I do it who knows? Yeah, so you would just slide your phone in and then put this on. I loved this case so much. Rest in peace. All right, so now I'll show you my little phone charms. This is a little Tuxedo Sam phone charm that I got at a Hello Kitty store, a Sanrio store. This was the very first thing that Brandon ever bought for me when we first met, because there's a Sanrio store in the Orlando airport. So he got me this little Hello Kitty phone charm thing that you put in the headphone thing. What I, I don't know terminology for anything, but you get what I mean. I can still use it, but it's just upside down and just kind of annoying, you know? And then my last phone charm is this little Avo cuddle that Brandon got me for Valentine's Day. Someone on Etsy actually made this and if I can find their Etsy store I'll put it in text right here so if you're interested in getting something like this you can look them up. And now for my SE cases. 
Is this mm, all we have? Is this rubber, see-through, clear? Which is kind of boring, but Brandon got this for me when I first got my phone, but you know, it, it does the trick. Maybe if you want to simplify your life a little bit, minimalist. And then the case that I have on my phone right now is super cute. It's this little duck case. It's so entertaining to just watch them go. Brandon and I say that that's us. He's the one with the glasses. And then I'm the one with the little bandana. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how cute this is? So now, for the last part of this video, I am so excited for this, I just, mm. So the company, because of a case, reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to pick out a phone case to review and show you guys on my channel, and I was like, a phone case, a phone case, I need a phone case. And what made me really want to work with this company is that they donate a portion of their profits to mental health charities, which I can always get behind. As soon as I saw that, I was like, this is perfect. It was really hard for me to decide which case I wanted, but I think you guys will know why I picked the case I did. So here we go. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, here's the little box it comes in and it has their little name on it because of a case. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting this packaging. This is so cute. And then on the side right here, it says because everyone deserves peace of mind. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, did it come with stickers? What the? If anybody knows me, I'm a sucker for some stickers. They put a little thank you card in here. A portion of the proceeds from each case sold will be donated to support mental health charities and organizations. These are temporary tattoos! <laughs> okay, and then we have some stickers. Oh my gosh, you guys! I am in love with this case. As soon as I saw it, I knew I needed this one. It's like little Rainbow pineapples, Adria plus pineapples equals life. Let's try her on. Get off ducks. I don't, oh, can I get this off? I'm afraid. <laughs> da, da, da. Okay, so first of all, let me just say it's the soft plasticky material that I love because I feel like it's not gonna crack. I'm always just afraid of the plastic cracking because it happens. You drop them, they crack. So the pineapples, holy crap. Thank you because of a case for wanting to team up with me and send me a phone case. And if you guys would like to go check out their website, and the link to because of a case will be down in the description if you want to go check them out, maybe get a case or just look at the cases. They have really cute cases. They have a phone case with toast on. It. Like I said, they do donate a portion of their proceeds to mental health charities, which was really my main reason for wanting to do this video collaboration with them so I can always get behind mental health and wanting to benefit other people and help other people. So I think that that's really great that they do that and I'm definitely going to use those temporary tattoos. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already, hit the subscribe button down below. I put out videos three times a week. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, Panda hugs. I love you guys.